Are you looking for a quick, professional way to analyze, visualize, and automate your data workflows without ever writing a code? So whether you're a data science newbie or a business user wanting actionable insights, NIME empowers you to create robust analytics pipelines with drag-and-drop simplicity. So NIME is a leading open-source data analytics platform that lets you build, automate, and deploy data workflows visually. It's trusted by organizations worldwide, and it supports everything from simple data cleaning to advanced machine learning. It helps integrate seamlessly with tools like Python, R, and cloud services, as well as its modular node-based approach makes data science accessible to everyone. With NIME, you can connect to multiple data sources like CSV, Excel, databases, and big data and transform them to run statistical and machine learning analysis and visualize results all in one place. It has an intuitive interface and they also have a community hub that can help you with this. So it can help share and automate workflows with flexible plans for individuals and enterprises. In this video, we'll walk you through installing NIME, building your first workflow, importing and cleaning data, performing analysis and visualization, and sharing or automating your results. You'll also learn tips for customizing workflows and collaborating with your team. First things first, you can head over to NIME.com. It's spelled as K-N-I-M-E. Then you can head over right here to the pricing in order to see the price of time. So they have a personal plan, which is actually free. You can first try to sign up for free on Nime in order to see how it can further help your data with all of these additional inclusions. So I have successfully signed up for an account, and this is what Nime looks like. So as you can see, we have in here the home page. We have in here the local space, the welcome page, and in here it allows us to create our first work workflow. Click on this create new workflow right here and then just name your workflow. For example, let's name this as selling and click on create. Now from in there, it should be able to open that workflow right here and you can see that you can start building your workflow by dropping data. We have in here several options like Excel Reader, Excel Writer, we have I.O. We also have Manipulation as well as Views option. So for the views, you can choose some kinds of charts and we also have analytics option right here. We also have the DB Reader and other data types as well as structured data, scripting, tools and services, time labs, workflow control, workflow abstraction, reporting, as well as a lot more. So for example, you can head over and add in here first a particular part. So for example, let's choose in here this Google Sheets reader and let's just drag it right here. Now, once you have dragged it, it can actually show it right here and we already have a tutorial on how to connect those. So for example, let's also add in here this Excel writer. So let's drag it at around here and then you can click on the other one right here and then you can head over and then connect those two right here. So we also have in here the configure for the options and you can right click and click on the this node connections and connect this two right here. You can also just do the control L in order to connect these two together. Now if you want to see the configured or executed node, you can click on any node output right here and you can either create meta node or create a component based on that you can click on this plus icon right here again and then click onto this file system connection and then you can just input or connect in here a file system according to this we also have in here our google sheets reader and you can also connect it to any table that you have we also have in here the flow variables and you can see in here the order ID as well as the data type for that in here as well. You can add as much more that you want since it has an intuitive drag and drop filter. So for example, you can add in here a role filter option and it will be added 
And then you can just click on the settings icon right here in order to change the dialog that has been inputted into this part. You can add several criteria. You can choose right here the column domains you can retain or compute as well as the filtered domain behavior based on the manipulation that you want added right there. Now, if you want to add a view, just drag and drop it onto the actual part that wherein you want to put it. So you can also add a comment based on this and you have options to actually add these nodes and then connect them to each other. So you can add some more nodes that we have right here based on anything that you want. So for example, on this part, you can just do anything right here that will actually help you perform the task that you need for your particular workflow. We also have in here an explorer in order to see the example workflows that they have right here. We have retail workflows, click on any which one of them, and it should be able to be opened right here. So you can see what that will look like. So you have the option to actually integrate it and then customize it to your liking. So as you can see right here, this workflows has this particular connections. We have here the sources and we also have the external resources, the tags and the likes. We have in here the info and for this one, we also have the node. You can also click on any part of the nodes and then you can also run it as it is. For example, you can click onto this node and click on the display icon right here in order to execute this particular part of the workflow. Now, the good thing about this name is they have the KAI. So for in order to use this, you need to log in to my name hub and then chat with their AI assistant that can help you with this part. We also have the monitor option right here and you can see in here any warnings on the nodes, any missing association, as well as any errors that this node will actually encounter. So you can see in here that actual error and you can head over and click onto this icon right here or to this arrow icon. And then you have the option to actually go over and then fix it. You can create, execute, and then do a lot more with this. Once you're done, you can click onto the save icon right here, or if you want to save it as something, just click onto the save as or export it right there. So thank you for watching our nine tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your network. You can subscribe to our channel for more insights on data analytics and productivity tools. So what are your biggest challenges with data workflows or analytics? You can share them on the comment section below and we'd like to hear them. Thank you so much for watching.